song. It's a weatherman song, you know? Ooh. If you need to know the weather, just listen to that song and you'll know. <laughs> it's Weller. You know? Huh? It's Weller, man. Oh, I heard the weather, man. No, it's Weller. W- Who's a, what's a Weller? No idea, but they bring sugar tea and rum, apparently. Welding didn't exist back then, man. <laughs> it's not Weather. <laughs> the weatherman come. Yeah, I was just like, to tell us I if see- it's going to rain. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Brothers Birth. Today on the Game House, we are playing Shipwrights of the North Sea. Redux. Redux. So this yes. is a redo of Shipwrights yes. of the North Sea, which was Garfield Games, who are sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Garfield Games. Appreciate it was their it. first Kickstarter, their first kind of main game. Yeah, this is this is you know got a, a place in Garfield Games' history, and so people like the original. But uh, Shem Phillips, the original designer, was talking about how their taste in games has changed. Since they made the original shipwrights, and, uh, and it was they always wanted considered to, kind of the weak link of sure. that original trilogy. Yeah, so they wanted to kind of uh, Shem kind of wanted to work on it and and spice Redo it, it up yeah. and and make it kind of more in line with they say are, are more kind of what Garfield games are today. And speaking of Garfield games, is sponsoring this playthrough. Thank you to them as always. So now it's a card drafting game. Yeah, uh, and you are you're building ships. Playing out craftspeople, doing combos, buildings. There's so many things to do. So what we'll do is we'll show you an overview of how this new version of the game works. Get an idea of, of uh, the kind of moving parts, and then we'll get right into our playthrough. Shipwrights of the North Sea Redux is a new imagining of the original Shipwrights of the North Sea. In this game, players are drafting cards which will give them yarls, craftspeople, townsfolk, buildings, and of course, ships. Players will start the game with a ship, a laborer, a hut, workers, and some resources. The game takes place over five rounds, and each round there are five phases. In the first phase, you will reveal a new round card. On the back of the card here, it reminds you that you may always trade one oak, one wool, and one iron for one gold. It also reminds you that gold is wild and worth one point at the end of the game. The front of the newly revealed card shows what trades are available during this round. In this case, three coins for one oak and two coins for one iron or one wool. Next comes the drafting phase. Each player will draw six village cards, select one to keep, and then pass the cards to either the left or the right. The direction of the draft is shown on the round card here. The drafting will continue until all players have six village cards. Note that in a solo or two-player game, the draft works a bit differently, which is shown here in the rulebook. The next phase is the actions phase, which is the majority of the game, and this phase is done simultaneously. In this phase, you'll be using your workers and your village cards, and you must play all six of your drafted village cards. Let's go through all the actions now. First, you can discard any village card to gain the benefit shown above the red X here. These can be one resource, one village card, one gold, two silver, or one worker. You may also play or recruit a townsfolk. If you play them, you will do the ability in the brown banner and then discard them. If you recruit them, you will pay one gold and tuck them underneath a building that does not already have a tucked card. You may also recruit a craftsperson. These can be placed onto your player board for free, or you may spend one gold to tuck them underneath a free building. We'll talk about how you use these craft people in a moment. You may also tuck Jarls underneath your building by spending one gold. These will give you endgame points, but mostly will allow you to move up these tracks. Anytime you see these symbols, you will move up those tracks. There are three tracks, Military, Trade, and Renown. As you move up these tracks, you will gain bonuses, which we'll talk about in a bit. We've talked about tucking cards underneath your buildings, but how do we get them? Buildings are village cards, and you construct buildings by paying the cost in the top left corner. You will return the workers and resources to the supply and then gain any track bumps on the right side. The building will go down into your tableau and they will have a worker placement spot that you can place your workers. There are a few different places you can place your workers. You may place them on buildings to gain the benefit and if there are any townsfolk tucked underneath that card you may do their ability as well and you may activate these in any order. You may also place your workers on your player board on these spaces provided there is not a card there. Keep in mind that you may also do trades at any time according to the round card. If you have reached 4, 8, or 12 of the military track, you will have fortresses you may raid once per round. How many workers this takes depends on your place on the military track and is shown at the top of the card. The last thing you may do is, of course, construct longships. To start, you must place the longship card onto your player board. The requirements for the ship are in the top left corners. This here is the workers and resources it takes to make the long ship, and at the very top is the skills needed to make the ship. These skills come from your craftspeople. Each craftsperson can do two skills, one major skill that they're better at, therefore it's free, and one minor skill that takes one silver for them to be able to do. 
If the craftsperson is on your player board when you use them, they will be discarded after their skill is used. However, if you use the skills of a craftsperson tucked underneath a building, they will stay where they are and they can be used again on another ship. You also have a laborer who can do any skill. To activate this, you must spend one gold and discard one village card without getting the bonus. Completed longships will go into your tableau and they will also bump the tracks shown on the right side and they're worth points at the end of the game. Longships may give you an immediate effect, give you something during the income phase, or have endgame scoring. Once players have done all the actions they would like to do, we move into phase 4, the gain income phase. During income, you will activate all cards with an income icon. You will then return all placed workers back to your supply and flip over any raid cards you used. The last phase is distributing hero cards. Each track has an associated hero and whoever is farthest along that track gains that hero. If a player does not gain any of the main three heroes, they will gain a Randy hero card instead. The hero cards will give you a special ability as long as you have them. After heroes are distributed, the round will end and you will move on to the next round. Let's quickly talk about these tracks. As you move up these tracks, you will gain benefits when you hit 4, 8, and 12. We've already talked about the military track, but when you hit these milestones on the trade track, you will gain the top card from the trade deck. This must be immediately tucked underneath a completed longship or you may gain the benefits at the top. As you hit the milestones on the Renown track, you will get to upgrade your cards. You may flip over and upgrade your starting ship, your laborer, or your starting hut. The game will end after 5 rounds. Players will then count their scores. You will score for your longships, including endgame scoring at the bottom. You will score your buildings and recruited Jarls. You will score points for reaching certain spaces on the 3 tracks. You will gain points for your hero cards and upgraded laborer. And lastly, every gold is worth 1 point. And the player with the most points will win. You know what I always wish I had? What? Was one of those rowing chants. You know, back in the day to keep the rowers. Oh, yeah, they, had a, you're too close to port and you got to pull up sail, right? And you just yeah. have to, hey, yeah. hey, or if you wanted to catch another you ship. You never on the same tempo. Yeah. I always like the classic where they go, hey, and they kind of do that. But they also I had good songs. Like, all the single ladies. <laughs> all, all the single, single ladies. ladies. Like, can you push the pace up? Nope. This nope, is what we're going to do. We're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is really slow. Like, this is how we're going. And that's why we weren't good pirates. But we're here oh. to be shipwrights, man. Indeed. We're here to build some long really ships. Pirates, we're just one building the ships. Yeah. What right. they do on the ships at this point? We're merchants, knows? baby. Listen. That's right. If they're, they're going to do, you know, fjord tours or whatever, that's all the better. Yeah, we've been on fjord tours. They're great. It's all the better. It's going to be a great time. So we are here to build some ships, use some craftspeople, get some buildings going. Yeah. Uh, all via card drafting and stuff. Indeed. I'm going to try not to overextend. Yeah. Because we played this the other day, yeah. full disclosure the score differences. I won by a lot. One was up here, <laughs> and one named Mike was way down here. So I'm going to try to bring it closer to the middle. You know, we'll see how go. we do. <laughs> All right, so we already drew our uh, round cards. So the, yes. the AI, which is just going to be uh, just going up these tracks, just mostly for hero cards. Some, yeah, some com competition there. So they got two bumps um, up there. And so yep. um, the white ones are the AI. I'm purple. Mike is blue. You. So now this round, we have some trade stuff we can do. So we have two coins can get us a wool or a, or a uh, oak. Okay. And then three Irons. can get us an iron. So, um, so it's kind of more balanced. A little more nothing's balanced, like yeah. Nothing's like a super discount, but nothing's, you know, it's Well, sometimes if it's only like one per, if yeah. I extra money i'm just like i'm just gonna buy a bunch of wool plan for the for future. next round or maybe i'll use it kind of thing so it's actually I, yeah, I did that a little bit last <laughs> time so i was like hey all right then we're each gonna get five cards and again the drafting yeah. works a little bit different in a two-player in a solo game yes so we're each gonna draft every time we get a hand of cards two cards and then you'll draw one card and add it to the hand and then so you'll always you'll never be you'll never be stuck drafting from one yeah. option you'll always so have, I'll be uh, two cards pass draw a card two cards pass draw a card two cards and then with a leftover card you'll just discard you know this you um, know this oh my gosh that's a very hard shift to build wow because that's the things you start getting like okay like what's the kind of synergies I'm gonna try and do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, let's take both of you. Bam. Okay. Because, yeah, there's, again, there's like five different village cards. They all kind of work together. You can also discard them for the ability right above that red X. So sometimes you're like, I'm going to keep this card just to get rid of it later and stuff. It's, it can get, the draft in is important. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And we'll each draw a card. All right, now I got to double check. What did I grab? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's actually okay. Okay. So I'm definitely doing you. And ooh, let's do you. Mm, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. 
A lot to consider. Consider, consider. I'm coming home. All right, your favorite sea shanty down in the comments. Give us a sea shanty. The one right I really now. know is the Wellerman, but that's like the most popular one. Yeah, I mean, it. that's the one. That's the one that, that brought the, the, the revival of sea shanties upon us. It's been, right. it's been pretty great. All right, so we'll draw, keep two more of these, and then that's going to be it. Okay. I think I'm going to do you two, and then these will just get discarded down to here. I can do that. Okay. Okay. All right, so now. Decision this part of the time. game is all done simultaneously. What we'll kind of do, just for the sake of you all watching this, we'll kind of do turns-ish back and forth. Yeah. Like, I'm going to do this, then Michael probably do something or two. We'll, but we'll, no, normally this would all yeah. happen simultaneously because there's nothing we can do to affect we'll, each other. We'll abstract it out a little bit. Yeah, a little of, bit. There's nothing you know, particularly interesting about watching the top of people's heads as they stand yeah, down just, the table. I do know I'm going to try and build this long ship, hopefully this turn. So I need one, two, and three wool. Okay, so I know I want to build, ooh, okay. Um, I think I'm gonna spend this gold here and I'm gonna put this carpenter underneath my hut because we do start with a building. And remember, if craftspeople are underneath buildings, when you use them to build ships, they don't get discarded. So mm -hmm. this right here is gonna take a, a, a wood cutter and now I have a wood cutter that won't get discarded, which is quite nice. That's a fair point. Um, all right, indecision is already struck. <laughs> already <laughs> freaking out. You know? Um, but you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna put a long ship under construction here. I'm going to just discard this uh, wood carver here for the, the iron they provide. Mm -hmm. Nice. Boom. Mm. Um, that's what I'm gonna do for right now. I'm gonna figure out my next order of operations here. Okay, I think I'm gonna discard this boathouse right here to get two more silver. And then I am going to use this jeweler here. This is a townsfolk, I'm just gonna use them and then discard them. But I can get, spend three silver to get two gold. Boom, and then they will get discarded. Again, you could put them underneath the building, which means whenever you activate that building, you could use them as well, but I don't have another building. I don't know if I'm gonna put another building in this turn. That's fair. So. That's very fair. Oh, am I gonna be able to do what I need to do? Hmm. That's where I'm at, I'm kind of like, oh, no, no, I really no. wanna get this ship built this round. I'm just trying to figure out if I can. I'm gonna discard my artisan and uh, draw a new village card. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna use one of my workers right here to get two silver. And then I am going to spend yeah, you know what, let's do it. I'm gonna spend two silver um, to get a trade up here. I'm gonna get a wool for that two silver. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build this long ship. Nice. So it's gonna take one worker, boom, one oak, three wool. I'm gonna use a gold, because gold is wild. And then two iron, and I'm gonna use a gold again. It's a lot of gold, but let's get it out here because what this one's gonna do, is when I build this one, is one, I'm gonna get two bumps up this renowned track, which is very nice, boom, boom. Other than that. And then I immediately, this is one of the immediate ones, I'll immediately get two villager cards. So maybe I can get these and do some more stuff with them. Nice. I'm gonna discard uh, my skeet for a little Sh bit of wool. Skeet. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend a worker here on my hut. I can get any one resource. I'll get a uh, an oak and then, um, man, I want to hang on to both these things, but that's all right. Yeah. I'm going to build this long ship. So what I'm going to do is turn in two workers, two oak, one wool, two iron. For my skills, I don't think I want to tuck this person under, so I'm just going to discard my blacksmith. Uh, if I spend a silver, I can use this hammer as the skill needed. So, so technically they have to be on your board, but you yeah, could so put them on your board and then use put them. Put them it's... down there and then pop them back off there. Boom. Also for my, I used my wood carver that was down here for that one. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, my, my wood cutter. Um, yeah, don't tell them that they carve wood. They, this is the wood carver right upset. there. That's the wood cutter. I'm very upset at you. Uh, so that's everything I need to do to complete that ship. It'll bring it right over. This has an Ooh. instant effect of uh, any two of the, the kind of basic resources, anything other than gold. Um, Ooh. I think 
I think I'm gonna go with an iron and an oak just to kind of round out my resources again. Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do, uh, that's gonna give me two bumps up the trade track. So I'll kind of match here. Nice. And then I'm gonna spend a gold here to tuck a Jarl under uh, one of my buildings. Nice. So these are, again, it'll be worth one victory point. That's great. Mm. And this can give me some bumps up the tracks. Yeah. Um, just wanna kind of get going on those there. So that's a victory point. I'll go one up on the military. Boom. And then two up on renown. Oh, dang it. And kind of get competitive there. Yeah. And then for my longhouse, I can't hang on to this to work on later, right? Nope, you'll have to, you have to use every one of your village cards. I think it might so end up bummed. just, I know I, I really want to build this because it's a great effect, but I'm going to discard it and get the yeah. iron for the future. Well, it's plan for the future. I don't think, what I'll do is I am going to discard this boathouse. I want to try and build it, but I'm just not going to be able to. Sure. It'll give me another villager card. What do I get? Okay, then I'm just, I have a bunch of just kind of villager cards. Uh, that give me resource. I'm going to turn those in. So I'm going to discard this one, this one, this one, this one's going to be two oak and two wool. Okay. So two wool, two oak. I'll be a little bit more prepared. I mean, it's only the first round, so. Plenty and then of time, right? I have one more worker. I'll just go right here and get two more silver. So I'm set up a little bit for the next round, which will be very nice. Okay, and that's going to be me. That's it. I'm out too. Uh, so we're going to kind of suss out the end of the round here so okay. we can take a look at who's uh who's so got we'll do income first oh yeah income first i'm gonna get one worker me too and then we'll and get then our workers, workers that are on back. placement spots back indeed and then now we'll check for heroes we're both tied here yeah. and so no one gets a hero if you're tied but then mikey will get uh sven here yep and that one is anytime mike hits one of these milestones he'll get a worker as long as he has sven which is yep. cool Pretty sweet. Um, I didn't get any of the special heroes, and so I will just get Randy here, who's actually very useful um, on if her own. Money, so, yeah, yeah so if you got money, so. You'll always have something coming out yeah. of the round. Either one of the three specialists based on the tracks or or Randy, who's uh, pretty sweet. Indeed. Okay, so now we're into the next round, so we're just gonna flip over the next round card. Let's see what we do here. Oof, they're bumping up here again. Renown and twice on trade, okay. And two more on trade, oof, okay. We're making our life difficult right now. Yeah, they really are. So right now we've got two silver gets you an oak, one gets you a wool, three gets you iron. So iron's in, in short supply right now, I Interesting. suppose. Interesting, it was last round two was three too, yeah. so man. Mm. And there are there are more than five uh, round it's cards. 10 or so. So you don't really yeah. know, it's not always gonna be, you're not guaranteed like, oh, this one's definitely come out. You don't really know yeah, either, so. I just don't know. All right, so now um, next we're drafting again. Yes. Let's do this thing. One, two, three. Boom. All righty. Okay, what am I trying to I have I have some wool and some oak here already. Sure. Oh. Okay. That would be interesting. Interesting. Okay. I could. Mm. Let's do the so I want to build a long ship every round, and I don't know how like reasonable that is i don't but either, I really but want it yeah the, <laughs> you know? the desire is is strong man Ooh, it's uh it's definitely there um oh, okay i'll do this i'll do this i'll do that i'll do that yeah it's like i want every round i'm like i want a new boat it's like sir you know how hard is the boat i'm like i want it <laughs> it's the olden times boats are still hard to make <laughs> the olden what times. do you think they're like back now you know it's just it's rough Shut stuff up, right Okay, so I am gonna need, okay, so I definitely do that. Ooh, let's do you. Okay, okay. Interesting. All right, last two here. Okay, so you did, okay. Okay, so I'm definitely doing that, and then let's do that. Okay, boom. So it's just to see if I'm trying That's to That's what we got here. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Okay. All right, man. All right, so now we're back to the, the action phase here. So, mm. oof. Man, these are tough, tough. Which one do I want? Oh, I kind of want this one. Two stew for sure. Man, this one takes a lot of iron though. Oof, yeah. I th okay, so I definitely want to do this. It's a lot of uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this in and just draw a new village. Village card, card yeah. It's always sweet. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. 
Okay, I am. Do that again, Nick. Okay, Mike. Hmm. Huh. I think I'm gonna use this conspirator, and I'm gonna get rid of a card. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one right here to gain two gold. Mm-hmm. Because that makes my life a bit easier. Okay, I can only spend two coins to get. Nick, let me use this forager just as a one and done. So I'm not gonna tuck them under a building. I'm just going to spend a worker to get two yeah. village cards. Always try to get village cards if we can. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start working on this ship. I'm hoping to build it this round. I do not know if I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna go ahead and also play this mining camp right here, which is a new building. Uh, it's gonna cost me one iron, which I'll have to do a uh, gold for, two wool, and then a worker. But then this one now can give me iron, which is uh, pretty sweet. Because your boy is going to need it. Um, and then I think I'm going to spend this gold to tuck this blacksmith underneath my mining camp. Nice. So now I have a blacksmith and a woodcutter in my employ. They're living here. And, uh, yep. I'm gonna turn this Barbarian in, just for a one and done effect. I'm gonna spend a worker and get five silver. Oof, when yeah. When in doubt, money. When in doubt, money. Uh, I'm gonna turn uh, this Weaver in to get a wool. Okay. Okay, so that's all my cards. So now I gotta figure out what I am doing with my life. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. You know what, man? I think I'm going to set my sights in the future. I think I'm just going to turn a bunch of stuff in and collect yeah, things. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I ended up short on workers. So close. That yeah, a bit. workers are tough. Workers, are oh, you have any workers left? No. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to turn in cards. I'm going to get two oak, an iron, a wool, a gold, and two silver. Yeah. Oof, and I didn't move any tracks or anything. Oh, I'm sorry, I do get a I do get a um, trade bump because of this new card, this mining camp. Yeah, I'm really, really close to being able to build this this turn, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend two, I'm gonna use Randy here, and you can use them as much as you want. So if sure. I have the money, ooh, I'll then turn this in to get a worker. Okay, that, that, that makes things interesting. Um, I'm gonna go here to my mining camp and get two iron. I can dig it. Oh man, I'm still gonna be like one short. Darn. Yeah, I'm still gonna be one short. Uh, I could get one away from doing this. So I'll just ignore it and I'll just go boom, boom and get four bucks to start the next round with four bucks, which will be nice. Okay, now I think I'll leave it there. All right, so income. Um, I still only have this one that gives me a worker. Yeah, I'll get a worker. And I'll get my workers back. Boom. Okay, um, and then uh, the hero cards. It's still gonna be you holding on to Sven. Yeah, yeah Sven right here. And then nothing else because I guess I'll hold on to Randy here because I don't get anything else. And so. Okay. That's it, that's round two. What we got? We got uh, okay. oak for three, wool for two, iron for two. They're gonna get two bumps keep here, up and that man, track and oof, trade. they're yep. kicking our butts. I know. I really want to get to some milestones while I got special. Yeah, if you can not hear, then you can get a raid card, and you can at least get a worker, yeah. which would be huge. That'd be sweet. Okay, five each, Mikey. Oh, tough, tough, tough. Okay, I'm really close to this one though, so I should be able to do that, no problem. Oh yeah, you should also be good. Do, do, do. Ooh. Oh, I think I want to try and do that. Okay. Let's do you. All right. Um, so tough. Do you keep them for the just to discard them? Do you keep them for their abilities? I mean, the keeping for the discard is equally valuable. Yeah. Well, Shem's, you can't build it all. You yeah, can't build it and all. Shem said that they were very influenced by It's a Wonderful World, where in yes. that game, it's like you're gonna try and build like one or two of your cards, you're discarding the rest for, for their what's called the recycle ability. You but it's a similar it. thing and it's like, yeah, you gotta. You okay, gotta. what do I actually, okay, interesting. Okay, 
Well, then come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Then when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. It's not really a Viking song per se, but it's a boat song, you know. It's a weatherman song, you know. Ooh. If you need to know the weather, just listen to that song and you'll know. <laughs> it's Weller. You know. Huh? It's Weller, man. Oh, I heard the weather, man. That's no, Weller. W Who's a, what's a Weller? No idea, but they bring sugar tea and rum, apparently. Welding didn't exist back then, <laughs> It's not Weather. <laughs> the weatherman come. Yeah, I was just like, to tell us I if see. it's going to rain. Like That's fair. That's fair. It is Weller. W-E-L-L-E-R. Soon may the Weller man Weather man come. come. <laughs> I'm listening to you. Yeah. Tell us about you'll the see some sun. Get you some sunscreen on because you'll get so burned. The ozone is hurt. No, the ozone's actually better. Actually, the ozone's better. One of the biggest it's one of global the... things. Everyone came together. It's like, let's not destroy the ozone layer. We'll destroy everything else. Yeah, fine. But <laughs> the ozone's going to be layer. intact, man. It's going to be great. All right, man. Okay, so now we're here. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, gosh. I got a couple... I was like, okay, I'm going to do this with my ships, da, 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 da. And then I got two pretty bangerang buildings. Yeah. And I am freaking out about it. Uh, okay, I'm going to get this sail maker, and I am going to get a uh, another worker. Nice. I'm going, let's see, do I want to order of operations? Let me think about this. No. Okay. I got this. Put my sail maker down here and my skip spot. I'm going to build that <laughs> right now. That. I'm going to use their uh, major skill right here. I'm going to discard it's them once sail again making. I think to make is. that sail. Then I'll spend a worker, two oak, a wool, and three mm. iron. Just nice. like that. You get three workers out of it, too. Boom. I'm going to get three workers out of it, which is like I desperately need. So I'll take one back in these right. two. So that yeah. gets that complete. Um, and it gets me two bumps up the trade track, which gets me to my first... Mm. Trade milestone, so I will get a trade card, and because I have spend here, I will oh, yeah, get another nice. worker. So that has to immediately go under a ship, or you can discard it, or not discard it, you hold on to it. To so get I can a either villager. discard it or get rid of it, you know, put it to the side for now for a uh, a villager card. I'm going to tuck it under one yeah. of my ships and get some, get some income. Out of it. That's where it's at. Okay. I want to. I just need to build this card. I have to. Um, Got to do it, man. So I'm going to spend two workers, an oak, a wool, and an iron. Okay to build this choich right here. And what this choich is gonna do is I can go here and just get two villager cards. What? And I was like, ooh, cause villager cards are so nice cause they could be something you build, they could be yeah. other stuff. I'm gonna get two renowned for doing so. So at least I'm here. Ooh, nice. I got to an upgrade spot. Ooh, what are you gonna upgrade? What does this one do? Ooh, I get three More coins. I'm gonna monies. do that. Let's just go ahead and get three monies. Okay. Okay. Um. Interesting. I think. Hmm. Mm. Tough. I'm gonna put a worker here on my worker placement spot and spend two silver. Or no, I have that. I'm sorry. Oh no, I have what I need, don't I? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna build a longhouse. I'm gonna build this building right here. So yes. I'm gonna spend two workers, a wool, and a gold. Gold. And I'm gonna put out my a longhouse. It's not a very short house. It's a longer, it's a longer, longer, longer house. not like weirdly long. Not just like, a longer it's not like weird. house. It's just a longer it's house. It's a longer house. This is gonna give me a bump up on uh, the military trade and renown. Just one spot a piece. Oh, nice. So, but it kind of puts me. Back that's pretty in the pack. sweet. Now, if you can bump two more, you'll get two more. That's yeah. pretty sweet there. That's not so bad. I'm gonna discard this yarl. This yarl will give me one gold for discarding them. Why well, yeah, yarl? Right. And then, oh, now do I want to do this? Is this that useful? I was going to do this one at Silversmith to get me four, because this one gives me four coins. Oh. But now that my hut gives me three coins, I don't know if that one's that important. So actually, I think I'm going to discard this now to get two coins instead. I dig it. I dig it. Hmm. Um, I'm also going to discard this one to get an oak. Okay. Professor Oak. Hmm. Am I going to build this? Nope. I'm just going to discard this for two more coins. And then now we're out of cards. Let's figure out what we're doing. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to my longhouse in the meantime. I'm going to go here, get two silver and a resource of my choice. I'm going to choose, I think, let's see. I'm going to choose an oak. Okay. I'm kind of wondering how much to... 
overpay for something. Right. I paid two gold earlier, and I was like, ooh, that hurts. I don't like that at all. Let me do some calculations. Okay. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend a worker here. I'm going to have them go work at the mining camp, and we're going to get two iron. Okay, so I need stuff. If I want, I really want to try and build this um, ship this turn. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend two coins and get a villager card by using my Randy hero here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this in immediately to get a wool, because that's the one wool I need. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna spend one worker, three oak. I'm gonna use a gold as an oak. Um, or should I just spend... No, you know, I'm gonna hold on my gold. I'm gonna spend three coins to get another oak. Nice. Um, with our trading up here. It's a little expensive, but I still really want to get the gold. So it'll be three, three, one, and a worker, and that's going to build my scoot. You better scoot. scoot. You better scoot out of here. You sound new to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoot. And this is going to give me another income where it's going to give me two. Um, let's put these next You ought to be proud of yourself. You better be proud. And again, I have a blacksmith Whoa. and a woodcutter all the way under here, and they're, that's their major skills, so I don't have to pay anything for that, which is sweet. I'm jealous of that. And that bit. is going to give me three bumps on trade. One, two, three, which is also going to give me a trade card. Nice. Ooh, do I get an, ooh, do I get a gold and a coin? Oh, man. Or do I just automatically get... Nah, let's get an oak. Let's get an oak. All right, you're smart, you're smart. Uh, in the meantime, I just discarded a card for a worker. I'm going to use a worker uh, 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 here on my hut, and I'm going to get another oak. So an alpine uh, oak. Um, <laughs> That's, anyone understand that reference? Get after us in chat. Give it one more time, Aggie. Huh? What is it? It's on an alpine. Okay, here, well, let me, let me, okay. Hold the, hold the, yeah, hold the little guy. Pigtail, pigtail. Pigtails. It's on an alpine or oak. Alpine. Thank you. Pew! Mm. Anyone gets that reference, please put it in the comments. Citizen Kane! Um, <laughs> all right, I'm going to put. Newspapers! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm going to put a craftsperson down and then this fairing ship. Nice. Um, I think. You got money, though. I got money. And so what I can do is trades for that's goods. True. I almost wish you had a Randy, because that's you can just get a bunch I of know. villager cards. So what I do have is this ship requires three oak, a wool, and two iron. The oak is the most expensive thing. So I could, already. I need to pay for it in full, but I could pay. That's a wool. That's an iron. That's an Ooh. iron. And this is the skill I need. I think I'm going to do that. Dude, go I think I'm going to pay it. for it with cash. Straight money. May I have this yacht for cold hard cash, please? And they're like, yes, cash solves everything. I said, yeah, man, this is, you know, that's fine. You're uh, like, what's a good birthday present to give someone money? Just give them money. Money's great. Cash is great. So this is going to give me a gold for income. Ooh. Loving that. Uh, and instantly it's going to get me a bump up the uh, uh, military track and oh, you're in front of the pop trade. on trade. Oh, man, you're crushing these tracks. So I've hit a milestone here. So first spend is going to give me a worker. Nice. And then I'm going to get my first raid card, which is a once a, you know, round. Make sure I just want to make sure my song cameraman is a, my empire. You are. Out. You're not too much wider. Okay, so cool. You're pretty good. We can also zoom out. I can out come down a bit. Too. Yeah, I mean, you know, just you never know how. You know, no, no, we want to be zoomed in if we can. So if you're at the fourth spot, which I am, I could spend two workers and I can get a good and three oh, silver. I've been so poor before with workers. I don't yeah. know if I ought to do it. Yeah. Hmm. Although here's the thing, you're going to get two back and you're going to get one from your income. So you'll have three next round regardless. Speaking of workers, I'm going to use this one to get two village cards. Tempting. I have no resources. <laughs> Classic. Um, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do this. You can flip this face down. We're gonna have a jolly, a jolly jaunt over here. So I'm gonna spend two workers. I'm gonna get three silver. One, two, three. And a resource of my choosing, which I will hmm, figure out. It's just, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm feeling iron. I'm gonna discard, oh, should I keep you though? No, no, I'm gonna keep you here. Put you there for a later, because I don't have those skills. I will discard this for an iron though. Yes, let's stick with the unintentional Casper reference. Oh, good. What did I do? You asked, can I keep you? And I said, sure. Out. Out. Uh, I'll go ahead and spend two coins to use Randy here, and I will get another one of these. And I'll just turn that in to get a worker, and I think I'm going to call it there for my round. Nice. I'm out, too. I'm pass. Oh, you know, actually, hold on. I'll do this to get two more coins. Well, now I'm back in. No reason not to. <laughs> okay, now I'm passing. All right, cool. I'm out. Okay, income. So now I get a worker, two coins, and an oak. I'm going to get a worker, an oak, and a gold. Nice. 
Boom, and then we'll get our workers back. And then you also now get to flip your raid card back up. Correct. Okay. Um, and then we're checking. So Mikey is also going to get the trade hero. I am leading that track. That's which true. is crush. So that's one where you can what? Trade. Uh, or I can, can spend at any point three silver for a gold. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's definitely useful. Let's kind of get these folks here. And boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. Uh, and I will stick with Randy here. Okay. Randy's going to treat me good. good. I like Randy. It's not, it's not a bad card, man. Right? Being able to get a bunch of, if you got the cash, you know. You got the cash. Okay, next round here, they're going to move up the military track. First time there. Boom. Okay. And then two more up the trade. Oh, they the just trade will not today. stop. Yep. Will not stop. Okay. Got to keep pushing. And then we're drafting. Round four of five. Um, okay, I'll take that one. Ooh, oh, that's interesting. I see. Hmm. I see. I see. Oh, okay. Summer's coming. Get some ices going. Oh, bro, don't get a little slushy. Situation. Don't tempt me with a good time. I haven't had a, I haven't had a slushy in a minute. Yeah, probably since like last summer, to be fair. But like, <laughs> I still I they, I don't I don't handle them quite as well, you know. No, they it's don't. A lot of sugar. They, yeah, they don't sit great, but they are tasty though. They are. I should say Slurpees, I guess. That's you know. God, the slushy's a branded slushy's thing, a, right? TM 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 TM. Oh, is it? No, Slurpees branded. I think slush. Oh, Icy's are branded. Icy's I'm thinking, a brand of. Uh, I'm but thinking, then Slurpees, I think, of what you get at 7 Eleven. Yes. And we grew up calling them slushies, which I don't think is a thing outside of Sacramento, California. No, a slushy. Are slushies a thing? Slushies are a Do thing. Do you say slushies? You know? It's the same thing as Slurpees, let's be honest. Wait for Jersey hit. They're like, it's called water ice. And you're like, water we're not ice. Talking about I know. Ice. We know water you ice. Know. If you're a Hawaiian man, it's shave ice. That's true. It's not shaved. Not shave ice. Ice. Okay. It's true. Shave. Don't get it twisted. Um, don't get it twisted. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I think I'm going to try and do something here, but it's going to be... Let's face down. It's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess let me do those. Here you are. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, let's do you and you. All right. I got you is multiplying. Flim, blam, bloom, bloom. Flim, blah, ba, doo, blah, blah. To blathe. To blathe. But that's not what he said. He distinctly said to blathe. And as we all know, to blathe means to bluff. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm now feeling the effects of not tucking those craftspeople. Yes. Um, I have done two, and I've been able to use them basically every single time, which has been pretty huge. Because you, you, if you want anything to be a skilled job, it's shipmaking. You yes, don't ship want making, an yes. unskilled shipbuilder. It's I'm not going to go. I didn't hear a P at the end of the first time. Well, I was confused. It's Well, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be in it. <laughs> If you don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to definitely start work on this cons this uh, long ship here, this snack. <laughs> snack. <laughs> it's a real windy boat. Indeed. Um, oh, man. I, I drafted three Jarls. Oh, wow. And I'm trying to decide if I should just go ditch gold all city? of them for gold. I think I'm going to yeah. put uh, Aslaug right here. I think I'm going to put... Excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? I'm going to put her here. Because I do want these two renowned bumps. Boom. Yeah. Maybe I can get this renowned hero. I love that the Yarls give you that and just, you know, and points as well. And points well. make, they're the leaders, right? They don't. Yeah. I'm going to spend a gold and I'm going to tuck my assassin under my longhouse. Ooh. Just because, I mean, you got to spend an, an extra worker, but I'm like, if I. Two gold, know, though. If I can. I can I Speaking can of, work. I'm going to get rid of these two Yarls. Yarls always give you a gold when you discard them, so I will get rid of them. I have my Yarl. I don't need another one. Yeah. Ooh, so oak is cheap this time too, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I need four oak. That's actually pretty ideal. Um, oh, and her I could use. No, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to discard her for the iron. And I'm going to use, boom, I'm going to get two more uh, village cards here. Ooh, another Jarl, which I'm going to immediately get rid of. Get out of here. I have a leader. I don't need another one. Stop trying to come through here. I'm going to put this uh, skip out under construction. Skip out. 
Let's give it we'll a use this craftsperson here to uh, aid in that later. And I think the rest of these are going to, gosh, I've got a lot of indecision about, do I hang on to something for the next right. and final round? Yeah, we have to put it down here. It says only people you can hang on to technically are craftspeople and boats. Your you can't boats. hang on to anything else. Speaking of, I'm going to discard these. I'm going to get an oak and then two coins. I don't know. Okay, and then two coins. Let me get rid of these first. I'm just going to get two silver and a uh, an oak from okay. discards here. Okay, so I have my two iron and my two workers. I'm going to go ahead and spend two coins to do this trade right here. Oak is super cheap right now. You know this. So I'm going to get... Boom, boom. Okay, and then I'm gonna spend one gold as a wool, and I'm gonna spend two workers, four oak. Oh, I need three wool. Oh my gosh, I thought I said one. Ooh. Uh, in the meantime, while you figure that out, I'm gonna go to my longhouse here. I'm gonna get a good of my choice. I'm going to choose iron, uh, along with two silver. And then I can, since I'm activating this building, uh, I can spend a worker and a silver to get two gold, which I will do. Oh, do I just pay for this? Or do I use my gold? Your gold's wild. It you is wild, it. but man, I'm just I'm blowing through so much of it. Sure. But I have nothing else that needs gold necessarily. Sure. So let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to use this all here is very gold wool. That's a golden sheep. Oh, yeah. Four oak, two iron, two workers. Very expensive. My lord. But feel that. Feel this one gives me um, another boat. Boop. Uh, that's going to move me twice up the military track. Bam. And then one more up the renowned track. Um, and then this one is an endgame scoring one. That every different building I have will be worth one point. I do have three buildings that are different already. Nice. So that's nice. Um, and then, you know what? I'm going to spend four bucks. Use Randy here twice to get two more villager cards. I Hopefully one gives me a worker. I'll use this one to get another villager card. I'll use this one to get another villager card. <laughs> oh, now I'm getting all this wool. Oh yeah, sheepies for I days. I this trash wool. The, the golden, the golden, the golden wool has, has created more. Oh man. You know, you're in excess. I'm gonna build uh, my skip bat. Skip I'm bat. going to use a worker, two oak, three uh, iron, one of which is gold, and then a golden wool. A golden, golden fleece. Goose. You know. Pretty sweet. Uh, and then I'll use my sail maker again for the skill that I need mm. for that ship. Sorry, my apologies. I needed to use um, my weaver here for her crafts, craftsperson ability. The other one, my blacksmith, came from this one under here. All right. This will also get me, as I did before, three workers instantly, and I'll get two bumps up the trade, which will put me on my next back and leave trade, trade card, which will also give me a worker. Ooh, doing it. And, ooh, instant. Wool and iron. Or another oak. Or another oak. I think I'm going to take the wool and iron. I'm going to set yeah. this aside, use it okay. just for its instant benefit. Um, just because I know an oak is coming to me during income anyway. So right. I feel uh, I feel solid about Let's that. Let's these two village cards and give it to wool. Sure. Because um, I can't really do much else with them. Yep. And then I think that's going to be it. I'm, I don't, I'm going this last round with not much. Although sure. I feel... Three ships. Ugh. All right. Um, okay. I think I'm going to go use some of my workers that I'll, that I'll get back mm -hmm. here to get, uh, you know, I'm going to put this down and hope to be able to build it. Right. So with that said, I'm going to use this to get a an iron. Um, this worker here, I'll get two silver, and I'll put a worker here to spend that two silver to get a gold. Um, and I do have... Thera here, so I could spend sets of, I think I'm gonna spend three sets of silver for three gold. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's probably, because here's the main thing, the most expensive thing this could be is three. So it's essentially, and then you have flexibility, right? Like you kind of might as well, right? Yeah, let's do it. Ultimate flexibility in the final round. Also means you can use your labor if you need like a, a th saying, you know, whatever, you know? so it's like. So I'm thinking. Uh, all right, that's it for me, man. Okay. Oof. All righty. So income, I'm going to get uh, a worker, which I desperately need, two coins, and an oak. I'm going to get a gold, an oak, and a worker. 
Okay, and then I'll get this worker back. Ooh, going back, the last round, two workers feels not great. The other thing, the reason I got like gold is gold is worth a point of piece at the end of the game. So if it, if it doesn't get used, true. at least it's, it's something. You know, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay, and then heroes. I now I'm going to get this renowned hero, which means I will not have Randy anymore. And this is basically means I can build a ship for one less resource. That's definitely nice, man. which is <laughs> not a horrible thing. Not so a horrible um, thing. I'm okay right. with that. Okay, so. And then you keep your two heroes yep, there. Yep, in the lead in those two tracks. Okay, so now um, we're rolling. That's that last round, Mikey. Yep, so our little dummy character is going to go two up the military, one up Renown. Okay. And then we've got uh, two silver per oak, three silver per wool, and iron oh. is the cheap material. I guess I'm glad day. I got this two wool now because that's the expensive yeah, one. Yeah, right. And then iron is the cheap one. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Oh, I need to try and build another ship, but man, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. Hmm, I would. Hmm, I think, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. You're right. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> ship is so expensive. <sighs> we'll see if I can do it. Lordy. Lonely, lonely. I can build a ship for one less, though. I gotta remember that. All right, let's try this. Ah, we'll see. I have this ship that just requires so many skills. Right? Well, actually, well I guess this one needs two, but then I have one in my hand that I'm interested in that's like three. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I just don't know. Yo. Oh my lord. Uh, thank you. All, All right, right, man. Tough, tough, tough. tough. Yeah. Two tough, stoof. Tough, 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 tough. I'm gonna do you. And then you. All right. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm jealous of the, the workers and mass amounts of gold you have. Although again, you need the you need the um well, you can keep using your labor as much as you want. It's just going to cost you cards and gold. Yes. It's, Which is not like know, ideal, don't get me wrong, but... But I could, you know, could do it. Okay, well, I'm going to try and build this ship. It's going to take three workers, three oak, four wool, one iron, and two gold. Ma stars. Ma stars. Oh, Okay. I know I am also going to use this Watchman right here, and I can discard a card to get three workers. I'll go ahead and discard this one, and that's going to give me three workers. And I'm going to use one of these workers here to draw two more village cards. Nice. Uh, oh, Stressed, man. And I'm going to put this Sailmaker down because I will need that skill. So I need to make sure I use her for that and not for something else. So hang on, this first. Um, I'm going to discard there? a card for a villager. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'll use this hmm. worker here to get two irons. So that takes care of my iron. I need two gold. I'll discard this there, for an iron as well. Oh shoot, is there even any real way I could get that? I'm gonna discard these two cards right here to gain two more village cards. Sure. Oh, my stars. Hmm. And I need three workers, so I can't even spend another worker. Well, I guess I can go here and get another worker. Sure. I think I'll go here, spend two to get a gold. Never got that worker back, did I? My lord. Um, Nick, I'm gonna build a longhouse. I'm gonna build a longhouse, a second longhouse for two workers, a gold and a wool. And that is going to give me a bump up each track once. Boom, boom. Gets me my first renown. I'm just gonna flip my laborer. Yeah. So they just pay a gold to provide a skill, which will be more flexible. Yeah. So at least. I'm also gonna spend a um, a gold to place a yarl under that new longhouse, 
to be worth two points, and I'll get a bump up trade and a bump up renown. So trade and renown. Nice. It's worth two points as well, which doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Uh, I think I'm about to get rid of these. It's gonna be two oak and two coins. I am in a bad spot right here. Yeah. Yeah, because I need two more wool, two more wool and one more gold to make this happen. And I have four bucks and I can't spend any workers. And I just, I don't, well, I guess I, guess I technically only need one more wool, but I just, I don't have a way to get another gold. Mm. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. So I think while you figure that out, I'm gonna use my longhouse here and get two silver and a resource of my choosing. I'm gonna choose a wool. Then the bottom half there, again, I can spend a worker and a silver to get two gold, which I will do. And I think what I'm gonna do is play this Berserker, just, I'm not gonna tuck them, I'm just gonna play them for their ability so I can discard a village card, I'll discard this one, to get three resources of my choice. So I'm going to get an iron and two wool, which will give me what I need for this long ship here. I have a stone mason which provides one of the skills, the other one I'll use my labor and pay a gold for. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll turn in my three nice. wool, my four iron, my oak, and use my two workers to sail the boat. Nice. And that's that done. That's gonna get me a bump up the uh, military once and renown once. So it's not like the biggest bumps up there. The stonemason is used up. I'm trying to think of what I can do from here. This sucks. I, I don't think I can do it. Yeah. Because the only way for me to get another gold is for me to turn in an oak, a, a wool, and an iron, which is a trade you can always do to get a gold. But mm. then that means I'm not going to be able to get the stuff. Because if I did that, which I should do anyway because it will give me a gold, which would be worth a point. One thing I meant to do is get a worker from hitting that oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, renowned milestone. I forgot. So now I have that, but now I'm three wool short and now one oak short, and I can get rid of one of those, which would be the thing. So it's like to get back up, I could do two coins yeah. to get an oak, and then but I still need two more wool, and I literally there's just no way I can get it. There's just I can't do it. Oh, this sucks. Um, because I need these three workers. Like I could yeah. buy it, but I need three workers That's a for bit. it. And it's just like, I have no way to get like villager cards. I have no way to do anything. Hmm. This sucks. Yeah. Because it's like, this would give me two bumps up renown. And this would for every, at the end of the game, I'd get two points for every renown bump, which would be good because I could upgrade someone to give me points. So it's just like, it's going to be a bunch of points I'm going to miss out on. And I just, I don't think there's anything I can do here. Mm. So I'm going to go here, spend my last two silver on a gold. Yeah. I'm out. So yeah, if you can think of any way, but it seems like... I, I don't think of... I can't, don't think there's anything I can do, which is such a bummer. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm just going to go here and here and get five coins. Sure. Um, and then I want to see... Can I spend... Yeah, I'll spend three... Yeah, I'll round just spend out that your five, resources yeah. to get some gold maybe. Right. Yeah, I'll spend... Uh, yeah, three to get another wool. Sweet. One to get an iron. Yep. And then I'll just turn two, two, and two to get two more gold. There Ugh, you go. That sucks. I was so close. I was just like, I was just <laughs> it's like. brutal when you're on the edge, you know? You're like. And I'm just yes, like, I'm just, there. I would need like a buck or two more or like. Yeah. And the whole time I was like. Let me draw a Yarl, please, or something that gives me a gold, and I just had nothing. That gold's hard to come by. It's and then I drew, like, by. village cards that just didn't do anything. And honestly, this is a time where I wish I had Randy, because then I could just draw village cards sure. and maybe get what I need, especially the, the wool, because it's so... so... everything you're talking about is accounting for a discount of one resource? Yeah, okay. yeah I, I still wouldn't be able to do it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so we're going to do income. Yes, sir. Uh, which is going to be a worker. My worker's back. 
Gonna get a gold and I get two an coins oak. and then an oak. Um, okay, and then uh, we're doing heroes. The heroes are all gonna stay the same. Yep, yep. Okay, uh, and then that is it. So right. let's score this up. Hey, indeed. Let me get the end game scoring open just so we have everything we need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to score is our long ships. So the points on your long ships, and then any. Ah, oh, they built three. Oh my gosh. It's going to be eight, eight, and six is going to be 22. Well, hold on, Nicholas. I'm going to use. Oh, the Garfield app. The Garfield app, which actually has the Redux already in it. Is By that the time right? y'all get this game, you'll definitely have. Never mind. The uh, Garfield Games has a, a scoring app, which helps you go through uh, scoring for all of their games. It's super useful. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, first thing is long ships, to your point. Yes. How many points do you have in long ships? 22. 22 for the Outrider. I made you the Outrider, Nick. That would have been 30. Ooh, I hate to see it. Um, <laughs> There's a big difference in points. So I don't have any majorly valuable ones, but I did mm -hmm. get a lot of them built. So I've got yeah. 5, 10, 15, 21, 29. Nice. So definitely happy with that. Yeah, yeah that's great. Um, done, skis. Next. Okay, constructed buildings. Um, Wait, I don't have any four points. points. I have four points for that. All right. None of mine are worth points. Okay. Uh, printed victory points on all Yarl cards. I have three points, one from here, two from there. Two right there. Okay. One, two, okay. Uh, progress tracks, none of us made it all the way up. We kind of each, we yeah. kind of took a balanced approach. It's tough, getting all the way up here is, you need you, to you kind, kind of, of really focus. specialize, yeah. yeah. So we're not gonna get anything from those. Uh, uh, victory points printed on all hero and laborer cards. So I get three. Okay. And then you're going to get six. because Oh, you upgrade your laborer, though, so you're going to get eight, actually. Uh, I will get eight. Yep. Nice. Boom. Uh, gold. I've got two, four, six gold. Four. And then I think in the longship scoring, we're actually supposed to score the ones that actually score at the end of the game. Oh, that's a good point. Um, so let's do that now. Okay. My thing is one for each unique building I have. I have three, so that one will be three extra points for mine. All Looks right. like yours is going to be for every set of milestones that you reach, which is... I hit I hit the, the base. I, I did one full set, so I'll get three. three. That's good. All right. All right. I have 49 to 38. But so that, that, guy, last I gotta ship, that last ship was... I mean, that, uh, that would have made all the difference because... Oh, yeah. oh it would have been It would have been, been 40. How much uh -huh. do you have? Thir uh, uh, 49? Yes. Yeah, so th this would have put me at 50. Plus then, the end game score. And then it would have gotten me here, which means I could have upgraded something. So I would say I would have upgraded this. be two more. be 52. Ooh. Plus this is two points for every Renown upgrade I got. So before, so I would have had 56 if I could have just just yeah. could have gotten that one done. I just couldn't do it. There's nothing so I could do. That wound up being a, a 19 for you, was it? 19 point swing? 12, 12 plus. And 12, or no, uh, 18 point swing? 12 and 6? 12 and... Uh, Six, yeah, yeah that's yeah. tough. That's it's eighteen really point tough. swing, me not being able to get that one done. It's Bummer. you know you, you're you're trying as best you can to eke out every single Couldn't thing you can out of the it. round, and sometimes you come up just one resource short. Hey, that's how it goes. Hey man, if you if you're feeling saucy, you can still put that thing in the water and see how far you get. I I'll doubt. It's just got one massive hole in the middle. <laughs> they didn't put a mast in. It's just it's go. just a but it's void. not watertight. So that was Cool Shipwrights of the North Sea Redux. Redux. Indeed. Uh, yeah, good game, man. I was so close building that last ship, just couldn't quite Tough, get man. there. And what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Yeah, you know, you're always trying to eke out, like I said, as much as you can out of every round possible. And uh, it, as we played this and stuff, you either, you know, you always are kind of putting together like, oh, I could have done this, or maybe I can yeah. set myself up for the future for that. There's obviously a lot to explore here. So let us know what you think of the new version. If you played the old shipwrights, how does the new one suit you? Yeah. If you haven't played the old ones, we would never played the original. How do you like this? Let us all know about that in the comments below. Big thanks to Garfield Games for sponsoring another playthrough. We always appreciate the support. Indeed. Until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We're the Brothers Murph. That was Shipwrights of the North Sea Redux here at the Game House. Catch you all next time. Bye, everybody.